It's an old taste, but it's still unbelievably classic. So I just came back from watching the Iron Giant Signature Edition. It was amazing. I haven't had that much fun at the theaters since Mad Max, but even still, this film was more enjoyable to me because this is by far my favorite animated feature ever made. It is amazing. It is such an amazing blend of animation, storytelling, uh, at the time, kind of breaking in CG into the animated world. It is an amazing film. It holds such a place in my heart because it took me back, watching it today at this theater, took me right back to when I, when I was eight years old, watching this at this old theater that used to be in a town near me that's no longer there. And I just had this huge memory this huge emotional trip and I was smiling the whole time I was watching it. I was having emotional goosebumps. I love this movie. The Iron Giant is a classic tale of a boy who meets this giant iron creature that came down from the sky but doesn't know who he is and he is basically in himself a giant child. And the two of them men blend together and they become friends, they become trusted companions and they really learn more about each other and they also learn about the world and at the time the film is set in the 1950s and it's a perfect time because it basically was the whole atomic scare and how everyone was shoot first ask questions later the film has a great moral question of when we should be violent and when we should be accepting and when we should learn and this film does it so well. And everyone in this film delivers great voice acting. Vin Diesel is fantastic as the giant. He really went out of his way to create that character. And him and Brad Bird created something that I don't think I'll ever really have again. Like sure, we could say that's him 2.0, but really the giant is a great character. He is a child with powers and he mainly just wants to experience life and to really understand he is learning and we see that and he feels remorse, we feel animosity, we feel so much and it's just from a series of grunts. It's nothing really concrete, he can't really say words until about, I don't know, a third into the film. So we're getting all this just from the man's voice and his gurgles and his growls and whatnot and it's fantastic. Jennifer Aniston does a really good job as Hogarth's mom and so is, does Harry Koenig Jr. and Christopher McDonald as Kent Mansley who I'm pretty sure they made an evil Conan. That hair is unmistakable. That is Conan's hair. And then Hogarth. The kid who did Hogarth was so good. I really think that there's nothing about this film I would change. So going into the signature edition, we got two additional scenes. And I was like, okay, how are they? One of them is a 30 second dialogue piece just before Dean takes this tractor that's got a giant bite out of it. And that one's, uh, that's okay. You know, that one has a good bit of dialogue, which you could see you couldn't, I could see how it could have kept in, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of, you, you, for an animated film, you really need to keep the momentum going. You need to have a certain time limit. It's the second one that I'm kind of on the fence with because it's the giant having a dream. And it's a dream about his past. And it's creepy. If you think that what happens when he goes full on commando and starts blasting everything was creepy, this dream is beyond creepy. And the thing that I'd have to say is I almost don't enjoy it because it doesn't, it takes away from the mythos and kind of the mystery of who the giant is and where he came from. We all assume that he's coming from this race of beings who are ultra powerful. They're able to create one of these things that is purely indestructible. There must be thousands of them going across the galaxy destroying things. But 
I like that we only see it when he's in defensive mode and we see that he is still a good soul at heart. So watching this scene and seeing these dr Okay, I'm not gonna say anymore. Which is another reason, that's another reason why you should see this movie. It's in Blu-ray quality. They touched everything up, the shadows look great, the linings on the characters is fantastic, the CG is even better than it was before. The lighting, oh, the lighting and the shadow work is amazing. This whole film looks absolutely beautiful and I loved how it looked before and now it looks even better. It is a fantastic watch people, I'm not kidding, you need to see this movie. For those of you who are in my area, I think they are showing it on October the 5th? I know they're showing it at my Colossus Theater, go and see it, I think it'd be 7 o'clock. Go and see it. I went and saw it early in the States. I drove down to the States to see it, but for God's sakes, if you can go and see it, watch it. For those of you who did see it, everyone in the theater, every single one of them, I could see and feel their excitement for this movie. And I had the same excitement and wonder and just complete amazement when I was watching this movie. I loved every single second of it. I felt the exact same emotional tugs on my heart that I felt every other time I've watched it and it felt tenfold to watch it again on the big screen. So thank you to Brad Bird for giving, re-giving us this amazing story. I'm looking forward to the Blu-ray copy so then I can look and see the whole behind the scenes they are at this documentary about how they were making the movie. I'd love to see how it was made. This is just an amazing, amazing film and if you've never seen it, watch it. I'm finally getting the Blu-ray version that I've always wanted ever since I heard of Blu-ray. So I'm really happy and I really enjoyed this movie and I really, really suggest you guys go and see it. This film gets a 7 out of 7, obviously, from me. I love this movie. The Iron Giant is my favorite animated film ever. I say that without a doubt that I like it more than Toy Story. I'm not kidding. I love this movie that much. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I hope you really enjoyed this review and for God's sakes, go and see it. That's all from me. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.